Thanks, Lars Kankorla. Taoiseach, there is a growing movement around the world and on this island to defend the rights of nature. People are increasingly understanding that without <coughs> protection of the rights of nature, there cannot be a human right to a healthy environment. The human rights and the rights of nature go hand in hand. On Thursday, campaigners for the rights of nature will gather at 11am outside the Dáil, ahead of the debate we'll have on Thursday afternoon on the Oireachtas Environment Committee's report on the Citizens' Assembly on Biodiversity Loss. Uh, our committee recommended, in line with the Citizens' Assembly, that a referendum be held on inserting the rights of nature and the right to a healthy environment into the Constitution, and, uh, excuse me, and that an expert group uh, to begin preparing the referendum questions be established during the lifetime of this government. Taoiseach, do you support the holding of such a referendum? Have there been any moves to establish such an expert group? And if not, will you ensure that that is moved on? Uh, Deputy Murphy, on the, on the rights of, of nature, let me firstly say I'm a supporter of the nature restoration law. Um, I, I'll be continuing to articulate that view in Europe. I'll be at the European Council this week. I'll also be making the point in relation to the new European strategic agenda, which is basically the, the five-year roadmap, if you like, for the vision and values of Europe, that climate needs to be much stronger in the document than it currently is uh, in its draft form, and I know there's some views on that. In relation to the Citizens' Assembly on Biodiversity uh, Loss, uh, my understanding is it published its report in March 2023 and agreed 159 recommendations, 73 high level and 86 sectoral specific. And that just gives us a sense of the, the depth and the breadth. The recommendations of the Assembly were, as you say, deliberated upon by the Joint Oireachtas Committee. I believe they had a series of engagements with uh, a load of stakeholders, including the Young People's Assembly on Biodiversity uh, Loss as well. And they published their report in December containing 86 recommendations. My note tells me that Currently, 93% of the recommendations of the Citizens' Assembly and 95% of the calls to action of the Children and Young People's Assembly are implemented or in progress. The in progress phrase always is the thing I think we need to watch uh, in politics. And, and the specific recommendation in relation to a referendum, uh, the fourth National Biodiversity Action Plan published in January, does contain an action that the Department of Housing, Local Government and Heritage will explore the ways in which the rights of nature could be formally recognised, including uh, potential around our constitution. And my understanding is they're due to conclude their deliberations uh, this year and that will inform government's thinking.